Hey everybody, happy Monday. It is Sidra with Mental Wellness Monday. How are you doing? Super excited to be here. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. So I had a really thoughtful weekend and I just wanted to share something with you. And so I titled this live, What Makes You Feel Supported When You're Maybe Not Doing So Well? Maybe it's grief, maybe it's pain, maybe you're just going through something, but what makes you feel supported? And, uh, you know, like I do this work because I need the work. So it was really interesting. This weekend, somebody that I know, but I don't know real well. Well, let me back up. So my mom, um, we're going to have to move my mom. So those of you that know, my mom has lived in a house that I have by herself this whole time and my mom fell and this is like the third time and so she's fine she's absolutely fine I always say black don't crack and I guess our bones don't either she yeah she fell and the hard part is that because she has really bad arthritis in her knees she can't get up and my mom has a super honorary spirit and so she doesn't call me right away. So my brother and I were talking and we're like, okay, we got to do something different. And the good news is that my brother decided that she was going to come live with her. So, or he, she was going to go live with him, which is great. Perfect. He'll be amazing. She'll love it. It's in the house where we grew up. So it's good. Like it's super good. But I was telling someone in the neighborhood where my mom lives just to let them know, because my mom is literally the queen of her neighborhood, and I didn't want them to see us moving. She's going to move like at the end of the month, and I didn't want them to see us moving without telling them. And someone said to me, oh, well, you know, thank goodness, your mom's 94, so um, thank goodness you had all this time with her. And I was like, part of me was like, yeah, you're right. I, I am super excited. But then I kind of walked away, and I didn't know the person very well, but I was like, I didn't feel so great about it. I mean, I didn't feel bad, but it just, it felt kind of weird. And, um, and then I was on Instagram, and I love the holistic psychologist. So if you are ever on Instagram and you just want some inspiration, follow the holistic psychologist. And they had a post, there are no mistakes, they had a post about the same thing. And you know what? I had to point the finger back at me because what the holistic psychologist said was that for those of us that have a history of people pleasing or codependency or being like helpful Betty, okay, can I put all those labels? Maybe not codependency and not people pleasing, but definitely like super supportive, I think. I think that sometimes we can immediately go into fix mode. And I thought about that because you know what? I'm guilty of that sometimes. You know, we might give suggestions or advice on what someone should do. Raise your hand if that's ever been you. And I never thought about it, but what I might say could actually make things worse when I'm attempting to get them to look at the bright side. You know, like somebody might say, oh, when my dad died, I did X. Or for those of us that are spiritual, God has a plan. And you know what? This could be really invalidating for the person because they're going through something. And I don't know, it just made me feel, it really made me be reflective of the times that I have done this. And so think back when you were in a crisis, what someone said or did to you that helped you to feel seen or heard or safe or feel acknowledged because that's what we want to do for people we want that we want to support them you know like this person saying like well your mom's 94 um you know good job okay that's great but and I was in a good space about it but what if I wasn't what if I was grieving? My mom has lived in this house for over 30 years. What if I was grieving? I'd probably feel shut down. And 
we just need to begin to learn to normalize and be comfortable with people sharing their emotions and their experiences without us trying to change them, even when it's uncomfortable. Raise your hand. Are you, am I the only one that if someone's sick or someone's got something going on, I get, I get uncomfortable. Like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I'm a wuss. I'm really a wuss. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one. But what we could do is get curious and just ask, how would you like to be supported right now? Or maybe just to say, you know, I just want to be honest. I can't imagine what you're going through. And I don't really know what to say. Would you just like me to sit here with you quietly? Or maybe just to say to someone, you know what? I'm here to vent. Or if you want to say anything or you want me just to listen, I got you. Is there anything I could do to make your life easier right now? So what I would love is that if you could take time today, post in the comments, because I think it will benefit all of us. What's something that's made you feel really supported when you were at a time of crisis or grief? What's something that worked for you? Because maybe people like me need to get a little more tools in our toolbox before we go into fix it mode. So anyway, I just want to say thank you for being here. I appreciate you so much. And please don't ever forget that you deserve happiness now. Have a great day, everybody. Have a fantastic week.